Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Goresi, I'm a PhD student from RMIT in Australia and today I'll present a demo called Cooking in the Dark, Exploring Spatial Audio as Mixed Reality Assistive Technology for the Visually Impaired, which I made alongside colleagues from the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul. So back in 1989, an exhibition named Dialogue in the Dark began to run internationally as a visual impairment awareness experience. There, visitors would face absolute darkness while performing daily activities, such as walking in a park or visiting a coffee shop in specially designed darkened rooms. More recently, researchers have claimed that the responsibility of addressing disability should be placed on everyone collectively, including technology designers. In that line of thought, by working together with a visually impaired researcher during its development, and combining concepts from other related projects, this work presents an MR gaming experience that provides players with a sense of how assistive technologies can be used towards the needs of blind and visually impaired people. So, our game portrays a smart home kitchen environment. The player has a dinner date planned with a guest, and the lights suddenly go out. In order to complete the game, a meal needs to be prepared and served before the guest arrives, completely in the dark. As the players do not have a previous spatial notion of the environment, a digital voice assistant guides the user throughout the whole experience, reminding them of the recipe, cooking procedures, time constraints, and how to find each required ingredient and utensil. The smart home enables sound to be projected from different objects, aiding the user to find the necessary resources without any visual cues. The voice assistant is capable of speech recognition, understanding, and replying to the player's questions related to the game fight tasks, which are represented in the left figure. So, for the spatial audio, as users are required to locate objects solely based on sound and passive tactile feedback, a reliable spatial audio system was necessary. As a device that already implements an approximation of head-related transfer functions and inside-out head tracking, the HoloLens was chosen as the main platform for the game. So as users call out for objects they need to locate, synthetic localization sounds are virtually propagated by the HoloLens from, from their positions, in a digital ventriloquism smart home metaphor. Additionally, given that people might not be confident enough to make precise judgments on object locations based solely on sound, players are also expected to reach out their arms in, in order to understand the environment in front of them. By having real objects and props placed in the game environment, we expect the user's sense of presence to be elevated. Finally, our prototype pushes the state of the art in mixed reality by focusing a gaming experience towards BVI people, making use of an innovative interface solely composed of voice commands, spatial audio, and tactile feedback. It also includes users without visual impairments in an empathy experience for the embodiment of blindness.